Hi everyone, my name is Paul Vicheski and welcome to the Real Estate Classroom YouTube channel. In today's real estate math video, which is video 10 of 15 in our real estate math series, I'm gonna show you how to calculate what's called a documentary stamp tax. It can also be called con a conveyance tax or transfer tax. All of that in this video. All right, so in today's real estate math video, I'm gonna discuss what's called a documentary stamp tax. Okay, this is actually real estate math video 10 of 15 in our math series. Uh, but this is very common throughout the United States. Many jurisdictions and many states charge these types of taxes. Now on your screen, I've kind of outlined what I'm talking about here. This applies to, number one, the, uh, the transfer of title. Remember, ownership means title. So they, the states and the jurisdictions have figured out how to tax the transfer of ownership. Now this is typically done through a, a re, uh, recording of the deed. So when the deed is recorded at the courthouse or at the register of deeds or whatever, uh, whatever office is responsible for that function in your jurisdiction, a documentary stamp tax is collected. Now who gets that fee? Well, it depends on the state that you live in. Sometimes it's the state, sometimes it's the local government, sometimes it's blended. You typically don't have to know that for your real estate exam, but it is good to know uh, for your real estate practice. Now, states have also incorporated these types of documentary stamp taxes for things like mortgages and, and promissory notes. So you have to pay a certain stamp tax when you uh, record a promissory note, uh, just like you would the deed. All right, now remember, very important, depending on the jurisdiction you're in, it may be called a documentary stamp tax. It could be called a transfer tax. It could be called a conveyance tax or a conveyance fee. Every jurisdiction has a different title for it, but they typically all mean the same thing. The other thing is to note on your screen here, let me show you what I mean, how they structure this stamp tax. Now you'll see that one example is $2.25 per $1,000 of the purchase price for recording the deed. That's typically what we see or how it's structured for the transfer of title. Or it's $2 per $100 or $2 per $1,000 of the amount that is borrowed that's listed in that promissory note. So that's how that's structured um, when, we're, when there, there's a doc stamp tax for a, uh, a, a promissory note. All right, so that's very typical how these things are structured. So I'm gonna give you a practice real estate exam question, a realistic example of what you might see on the real estate exam, and then I'll show you how to calculate these two types of stamp taxes. All right, it says Tom purchases a home for $200,000. He puts $50,000 down and will finance the rest with 12th Street Bank. The state's documentary stamp must be paid by the seller and is $2.25 per $1,000 of the purchase price payable when the deed is recorded. A documentary stamp tax of $2 per $100 of the amount that's borrowed also applies when the promissory note is recorded and is paid by the buyer. So how much in total state taxes are due as a result of this transaction? Now, right away, we know there are two uh, parts to this question. Number one, how much does the seller have to pay in the documentary stamp tax for the transfer of title and the recording of the deed? And then how much is the buyer going to have to pay to uh, in that doc uh, stamp tax for the promissory note? So we're going to have to calculate both of these. And here's what it's going to look like. Now, the first thing we want to do is tackle the how much the seller owes when the deed is recorded and, and make no mistake it's not actually when the deed is recorded the the closing company that's closing the real estate transaction is going to collect this fee at closing and then pay this fee on behalf of the buyer and the seller so we know that the purchase price is two hundred thousand dollars all right and the state doc stamp tax must be paid by the seller. So we know that the seller has to pay the transfer of, uh, ta the transfer tax side of this transaction. And the calculation is $2.25 per $1,000. So step one is we take 200,000, all right, and we divide it by 1,000. 
Why did we come up? Why did we come up or how did we come up with those numbers? Number one is $200,000 is the purchase price, not the amount that's borrowed, but the purchase price. And when we are calculating the state documentary stamp tax for the, uh, uh, for the transfer of title part, we're going to base it upon the purchase price, not the amount that's borrowed. The amount that bo that's borrowed is going to be relevant when we do the promissory note. Okay. So $200,000 is the purchase price divided by 1,000. Now 1,000 is that part, that 225 per $1,000 of the purchase price, very important. Every state's a little bit different, but in our scenario, it's $2.25 per $1,000 of the purchase price. So we take 200,000, we divide it by 1,000, and we get 200. Step two, we take 200 and we multiply it by that $2.25. That gives us, again, that $2.25 is part of that $2.25 per $1,000 of the purchase price right here. So that gives us $450. So the seller is going to pay at closing a documentary stamp tax of $450 for the, uh, the recording of the deed or the transfer of the title. That's part one of this question. Now we have to deal with part two. Part two wants to know how much the buyer is gonna have to pay to record the promissory note. So how do we calculate that? Well, there's some key things we have to know. Number one, it's 200,000. Well, let's just do step by step here. We got step number one. We take 200,000, which is the purchase price, minus $50,000, which is the down payment. Because remember, the, the buyer is only going to finance $150,000 in, in documentary stamp taxes for promissory notes are based on the amount that's borrowed. Okay, so that leaves $150,000 is the loan amount. Step two, we take that 150,000 and we divide it by 100. <clears throat> Where do we get 100? Again, let's look at our question. It says a, a documentary stamp tax of $2 per $100 of the amount borrowed. So we take 150,000, we divide it by 100, and that gives us 1,500. Then we take in step three that 1,500, and we multiply it by $2. Again, we got that up here in the in the problem, a documentary stamp tax of $2 per $100. And that gives us a total amount the buyer is going to have to pay of $3,000 for the documentary stamp tax for the promissory note. Again, like the seller side, the closing company and the closer is going to collect that amount from the buyer at closing and they are going to pay that amount on behalf of the, on behalf of the buyer uh, when they record the promissory note. So what's the final answer to this practice test question? The seller must pay $450 and the buyer must pay $3,000. All right, if you're gonna continue studying, check out this real estate math video. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so, click the little circle here to my left. As always, comments and questions down below in the comment section. And don't forget to share this with somebody uh, that may be studying for their real estate exam as well. That's all I got. I will see you all in the next video.